Okay, competition analyst, let's talk about your job here. Um, when we look at it, competition is really the basis for a market-based economy, or as we talked about before, capitalism, which we aren't exactly, but you get the main point. When starting a business, though, it's important to know who you're up against, because the reality is you're not going to have very many businesses where you don't have any type of competition. In fact, I'd say every business has some sort of competition. Even if they're unique, they're still competing against other things to an extent. And in order to make money, you need to know who you're up against so you can figure out what your pricing needs to be like. Now, with your group members, you need to you needed to figure out on day one whether your product was going to be a product of value, quality, or some sort of a combination. In other words, are you trying to make it so that they buy your product because it's cheaper in price or because it's higher in quality? It's kind of hard to have both, and if you have neither, you're not going to sell anything. So you need to really make sure that you have at least one of those things being met. So basically what you need to do is look at that, look where you're at, talk to your head of marketing, see what their plans are, and then from there, <clears throat> figure out who you're going to target with the product. Now. What I want you to do is go on the internet and try to research some of your competition. Some of you may know who your competition is already. Like if you're a fast food uh, restaurant that you're creating, you're going to know that you're against McDonald's and some of those other places like that. So you don't, it's not like you need to research who it is. You might just need to research the business itself. Well, what I want you to do though is go on the internet, research it, try to find some competition for your group, and then I want you to create a couple PowerPoint slides. Now these slides are not going to be shown in PowerPoint form. I'm really just saying to use PowerPoint so that you can really lay it out a little bit more neatly than you might be able to somewhere else. And I want you to consider a few things about your competition here. Now I'm going to bump down here and show you a couple that I did. I want you to tell me just a brief overview of who the, who the company is, say some similarities and differences between the two companies, and then answer this question. Can we compete with them? Like, Can you beat them or at least take some of the market? And I'm hoping the answer is going to be yes, because if it's no, then you really need to look at your product and say, is it really worth doing this? So here are a couple that I did. Now, I want you guys to do a minimum of three, and I want you to make sure you have good details. For mine, uh, they're okay details, but I would say if you can include more specifics, that would be great. Now, don't make it a whole page for each one. That would like a whole page worth of writing, so it's size 12 font and 40 sentences. That's not what I'm looking for. I really just want to make sure that you are addressing the fact that in analyzing your competition, knowing that you do have to deal with that. So that's the first part to your project. Next, and by the way, at the end of this, what you'll do is that you hold in Command Shift F4, and as you can see, that turns into a crosshair, the mouse. You click and drag, and whatever you click and drag on, it turns into a picture. So basically, once you create your PowerPoint slides, you can just do that, then upload the pictures. I'll show you in class how to do that, though. Next, you need to create a price sheet. Um, since you're the one who knows the competition, you know what you need to be pricing your product at. So what I want you to do then is create this price sheet. It's going to list the different things you're going to sell. Here's mine coming down here. Now mine's kind of specific for what I'm doing. The reality is though that some of you are probably going to have even more than I do. And if you have a restaurant, instead of creating a price sheet, you might just want to create a menu. And I think that would probably be the better idea where you might want to say page one, here it is, page two, here it is. Um, the one thing that you need to really be careful of is, and this is why I tried to deter people from doing really large businesses like a sporting goods store is because they're so there are so many expenses you would need and so many costs you would need to really write down that it might be pretty tedious. If you're in that boat, make sure you speak to me individually best so we can get that figured out. But nonetheless, here's my price sheet that I have um, that you can look at and see what you guys think about. But those are the two main tasks that you need to complete for this. Now, there may be a group infomercial, and that's what's listed as number four. Don't worry about that just yet. If we're going to have that, then we'll come back to that, uh, and I'll explain that to you in class. Now, lastly... I want you guys to make sure you do two things with this, uh, with the competition aspect. Make sure you research it, and make sure you don't waste time on animation. Don't do any animations at all because it's not going to show up. All I literally want you to do is take a picture of it. So those are a couple things to be thinking about as you work on your project.